Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Clinton Victory Series, Episode 11. Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar has announced that she will be running for president in 2024. The senator from Minnesota is a very bipartisan, so has very bipartisan support, as she is most likely to be one of the more conservative Democrats in the race. She has a 24% approval rating from Republicans, 80% approval from Democrats, 62% approval from third-party voters, giving her a 13% appro thir a net approval of 13% across the country. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro has announced that he will be running for president in 2024, winning his first term back in 2022 against uh, Dave Doug Mastriano. As you can see here, not very well liked by Republicans, or not that not that popular among third third party voters either. He has three percent approval amongst Republicans, eighty nine percent approval amongst Democrats, and forty five percent approval amongst third party voters, giving him a net disapproval of six percent across the country. Colorado Senator John Hickenlooper has announced that he will be running for president in twenty twenty four. The senator being elected back in 2020, defeating Cory Gardner for his seat. Very experienced, very popular former governor out of the state. As you can see here, he has an 8% approval rating amongst Republicans, 87% approval amongst Democrats, and 58% approval amongst third party voters, giving him a net approval of 4% across the board. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer has announced she will be running for president in 2024 the governor being elected back in a red wave 2018 by a very narrow margin has the has been bragging that she has the backing to win win republicans over oh, uh, rather than the other candidates which she does have this backing to prove it on considering she won back in 2018 a red wave year as you can see here this does state otherwise however she has 3% approval amongst Republicans, 90% support amongst Democrats, and 40% approval amongst third-party voters, giving her a net disapproval of 10% across the country. Cal California Senator Kamala Harris kicks off her campaign tonight in Berkeley, California. Uh, she has a rising star, rises, she's a rising star in the Democrat field. Clearly, she's been groomed for this position to become the nominee. However, she has a lot of competition ahead of her, especially with Gretchen Whitmer in the field. She has a 5% approval rating amongst Republicans, 77% approval rating amongst Democrats, 38% approval amongst third party voters, giving her a net disapproval of 18%, the lowest in this field so far. Washington Governor Jay Inslee has announced that he will be running for president in 2024. Being elected in 2012, the governor has seen pretty high approvals throughout his term, around the low 50s, yet it's pretty good, however. However, he has been in some pretty competitive races throughout his career, so he might not be the strongest candidate for the Democrats. As you can see here, he has a 10% approval amongst Republicans, 90% approval amongst Democrats, and a 55% approval amongst third-party voters, giving him a net approval of 6%. New Jersey Senator Cory Booker has launched his campaign in Newark today. The former mayor of the city he launches his campaign in uh, is, very, is a very libertarian-leaning a record when it comes to running an executive position as well as his voting record at times. Uh, as you can see here, based off his approval rating, he has an 8% approval amongst Republicans, 87% approval amongst Democrats, 60% approval amongst third parties voters, giving him a net approval of 6% across the board. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren kicks off a 2024 run here today in Massachusetts, her home state. She was considering a run back in 2016. However, she declined and instead endorsed Hillary Clinton, which could, which has, you know, made some progressives uneasy about her campaign. Rather, rather support people like Cory Booker so far. However, let's take a look at her numbers. She has a abysmal approval amongst Republicans, a 1% approval amongst Republicans, 89% approval amongst Democrats and a 46% approval amongst third-party voters, 
giving her a net disapproval of 8% across the board. Andrew Yang announces his second bid here today in New York City, to which he is the mayor of. Mayor Yang was the leading force against Hillary Clinton back in 2020, which, you know, Hillary had a sh very tough primary challenge, kinda, which Andrew Yang led the charge against. Yang is now launching a second bid, this time as the mayor of New York City. Here is his approval ratings. He has a 12% approval amongst Republicans, 88% approval amongst Democrats, and 58% approval amongst third-party voters, giving him a net 8% approval across the board. California Congressman Ro Khanna, a very libertarian member of Congress, one of the few libertarian socialists serving in Congress currently, he has announced that he will be running for president in 2024. A very unlikely candidate, you can call him a the Black Horse. Dark Horse, not Black Horse, the Dark Horse. I got Dark Horse and Black Sheep mixed up, I'm sorry. But a Dark Horse candidate, as if as you can say. As you can see here, he has a 10% approval amongst Republicans, 85% approval amongst Democrats, 50% approval amongst third-party voters, giving him a net disapproval of 2% across the board. New York Governor Kathy Olcho has announced she will be launching a campaign for president here today in upstate New York. Uh, she succeeded uh, former Governor Andrew Cuomo back in 2021 and defeated Lee Zeldin by around 20, by around 20 points in 2022 in that blue wave. And she is now launching a campaign, someone that the establishment would get behind if she were to win the nomination. Here are her approval ratings as of right now. She has a 10% approval rating amongst Republicans, 88% approval amongst Democrats, 50% approval amongst third-party voters, giving her an even approval, disapproval across the board. One of the, the only, per, only candidate in this race. Now let's take a look at national polling heading into the February primaries. As you can see here, Kamala Harris leads the pact at 23%. Andrew Yang, however, the mayor of New York City, not that far behind at 21%. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer at 14%. She is a, a top-tier candidate, absolutely, and she's been battling with Kathy Hochul throughout the entire primary cycle for that third-place position. However, Yang and Harris have been battling out for first place the entire time. New York Governor Kathy Hochul is at 11%, so she has a lot to do heading into the February primaries. Heading into the second tier candidates, Elizabeth Warren not doing so hot with progressive voters, most of whom are going to Andrew Yang heading into the primary cycle. The fact that a lot of uh, progressive voters don't want to support her due to her not supporting Bernie Sanders back in 2016. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, someone who we thought could have would have performed better than he is, just not doing so hot at 8%. Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar is sitting at 6%. New Jersey Senator Cory Booker at 4%. And now we have the low-tier candidates, the Senator John Hickenlooper at 2%, California Congressman Ro Khanna at 1%, and Washington Governor Jay Inslee at 1%. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Catech One saying... Peace.